What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Justin Ford Podcast, where I'll be releasing life-changing principles and valuable information focused on all things faith, finance, family, fitness, real estate, and so much more. Let's go! What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Justin Ford Podcast. I am so excited to be with you here today. We've got a special episode for you. Happy New Year. Uh, Today is uh, special because today is episode 100, and we can't wait to celebrate with you today. Uh, For those of you guys that are tuning in, we're excited to have you. If you are loving the show, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't uh, already done so, if you're loving the show, feel free to go ahead and leave us a five-star review. You can also follow me on social media at the official Justin Ford. Again, at the official Justin Ford. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Twitter, and also here on YouTube. We've got, like I said, a special episode in store for you today. But before we get into that, I do want to remind you that this episode is brought to you by my friends over at Nextdoor Lending. Nextdoor Lending is a team of professionals that believe everyone should be treated as if they lived next door. The founders and team members have more than 150 years of combined loan experience, helping clients all over the country choose the best loan program to help you accomplish your goals. Nextdoor Lending is currently licensed in over 24 states and has a team of over 100 loan officers specializing in helping you get the best rate and terms. Whether you're looking to refinance your home or you're looking to purchase your next home, call my friends over at Nextdoor Lending today at 888-885-3667 or visit their website at nextdoorlending.com. Again, today is episode 100. And it wouldn't be the same without bringing my lovely wife into the studio to celebrate Joy Ford. Hi, happy 100. It's crazy to think. I I just want to laugh with (laughs) the things he does. Like, I'm like, hey, try these on. Let's do this. Let's do something fun. And normally, 18 years ago, you would have said, no way, Jose. So I appreciate the fun coming out of you 18 years later. And you'd have to, you'd have to, to actually see the YouTube to, to know what I'm, <laughs> know what she's talking about. What's on my forehead here. Yeah. His glasses that say 2024. 2024. Cause it is officially 2024. I know. And so happy new year, everybody. Yes. It's crazy to think that, I mean, you know, they always say as you get older, time goes by faster and yet mm-hmm. time never goes faster. We just get busier but it is crazy to think that it's already been two years since we started the podcast. That is like two years fast. Yeah. hundred episodes. Yeah. And to think I was not wanting to do, to do this. I was so scared, she nervous, was. uncomfortable. Yep. I'm like, wait, we just talk. Like I can't plan a script that I'm going to read. Like, yeah. So yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember episode one when I sat in the studio <laughs> and <laughs> I, it was an hour long recording and then the guy was like no we got to restart over <laughs> well because i tried to like tell my story you know once upon a time when i was born <laughs> you know t- and and i tried yeah no i tried to tell my story because i had never been you know on a podcast yeah, before was, had a podcast good. and so i'm always, i've always been like a speaker or you know i can do stuff like that and so i'm like you know, and, then, like when my story, I was, and yeah. then when I was 18 and then when I turned 20 yeah. and then after an hour, and you were he, sweating and you were red oh, and it was yeah. an hour long recording that just to hear the guy say, you know, we got to redo that. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> but, you know, for, for me though, it kind of clicked because I realized like that, that's not really, you don't have to tell your whole story and put it all into one episode. Right. And so after, you know, kind of going through and doing that hour episode mm-hmm. and sweating all over the place. <laughs> I was able to really understand, you know, the, the format and the flow of it, but it is crazy to think that Mm -hmm. that was two years ago. I know. Yeah. And so we're excited to to celebrate our 100th episode with you. And we've got some exciting news too, because we've got some changes that are coming, but we're 
talking about some exciting things mm-hmm. that are coming mm-hmm. for 2024 and beyond with the podcast. You know, we've we've done 100 episodes and I think we've kind of learned up until this point, mm-hmm. you know, really just we wanted to get on here. We wanted to share content. We wanted to interview guests. And I'll say it like this, because when we were in our, you know, our marketing meeting, you know, strategy meeting last week, you know, when we were talking about the direction we want to go moving forward with the podcast, mm-hmm. I really feel like we've kind of just winged it a little bit. Yeah, we've had some planning around it. And obviously, yeah. you know, we've invited some people on. I mean, there's been times where we'll show up at the studio and not really know what we're going to talk about. And like five minutes before the show, we're like, okay, what are we going to talk about? I know. You know, and but not that it hasn't be more been. Intentional. Yeah, not, not that it hasn't been good content, but, you know, when when we think about where we want to go moving forward and how we want to make an impact, you know, we want to be super intentional and we mm-hmm. are going to be super intentional about building, you know, this platform to really give you, the listeners, great content, mm-hmm. great interviews and tools and resources and things that can really help you in your own life. Yep, definitely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just like you do like a business plan for real estate. You, yep. We've got to do it. You, you know, it's like we were meeting with Rob yeah. and them. And it's like yep. having a business plan for podcasting because yep. it's not like you have to. It's like yeah. a jo- it is a it job. Is, I mean, it's like a business. You're, yeah. It's a business. Mm-hmm. You're, you're inviting people. You have to be making sure that it fits in their schedule. And yep. so, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, we've it's got some exciting things planned. And so um, we've got some questions that that we've written down. But before we get into that, let's talk about. We've, we've received so much great feedback, you know, mm-hmm. over the last two years. And thank you to the listeners. Uh, I was recently, somebody came up and just, you know, shared how they love listening to the podcast. And even at our Christmas party, someone told you, or they came up to me. It was uh, one of our, our real estate partners, uh, his wife, Tanya, who's never met you before. She, she said, when are you going to introduce me to Joy Ford? I feel like I know her because I've listened to all the episodes <laughs> and those are my favorite episodes, the ones that Joy is on. And so it's cool that... You know, there's people that are listening that are being impacted by these episodes and, you know, what we've been able to share. And, Mm. you know, even when we started the podcast, you know, the Justin Ford Unleashed podcast was kind of to go along with the book, right? Mm Because the book was coming out. And when when I brought you on, like there was no plan to do the podcast together, but we kind of just created the real raw and uncut segment within the podcast. And then we started getting so much good feedback like we want more joy forward and then we've just kind of made it a regular thing. Yeah. And people want to feel related to like, Mm -hmm. you know, it's, we're human beings that deal with the same things everybody else does. Just being real and raw about a lot of things because some of that stuff's always, it's never talked about. And then people think it's something wrong with me because I'm dealing with this. Well, no, we all deal with that kind of stuff, you know? So I think that's the best part about, um, you know, us sharing and talking is just, being open, being real about things to a certain extent. And then um, just making people feel like they're relatable with us. Like we're all human beings struggling with the same things. They look a little differently, but nobody's perfect. No. And I think a lot of times too, when you follow somebody, whether it's on a podcast or, you know, somebody that you follow on social media or, you know, someone and you kind of can see their life. Mm Mm-hmm it's easy to look at someone else's life and kind of see what you see and think like, Oh, well, well they have a great marriage and you know, I struggle in my marriage or, man, they look like they're having a great time and we're not really having a great time or whatever. You can just look at <laughs> right. <and> compare people. <laughs> yeah. And the, one of the reasons why joy and I did the real run uncut, you know, portion of this podcast is because we want people to know that, you know, we, we struggle in marriage. We just crossed over 18 years Yes. You know, 18 years married. We've got four kids. We've, you know, we're in business together and, you know, it's, it's not easy and we want to share stories and, you know, things we've gone through, but how we've overcome, you know, we've talked Mm -hmm. about that in, in some of the episodes we've done. We bring other people on, you know, that are successful, you know, that uh, come and share their story because I think it's encouraging when you can hear other people's stories on how to overcome and how to keep you know keep going and you know be successful as a married couple yes real estate yes and i and i can be i can be real about it you know 18 years later and the conversations we're having is like let's start some marriage counseling like or you know you know and it's like 
just because we made it 18 years doesn't mean we're going to make the next 18. Nothing's promised. Nothing's but like, promised. what can we do to better our marriage for the next 18 years? Right. Um, in whatever way that looks like. And so that may mean that sometimes looks like, hey, I need to see a counselor. You need to see a counselor. We need to see a marriage counselor right. to stay, you know, sharp. To grow. And to grow and to learn and to, yeah. you know, better, better our whole relationship. Yeah, My it's important. No, oh, you look great. I was like having a malfunction there. It's okay. Real raw and uncut. <laughs> so a couple of things. We wrote some questions down because we're like, how do we celebrate and what do we do on a 100 podcast? And it's so cool that it just so happened that it fell on the very first podcast of 2024. That's really cool. So we're celebrating. We've got the 100 balloons for those of you guys that are listening and you can't see it. Yeah. We've got the 2024 thing here. Joy brought New some, year. some stuff in for, and you should see my glasses. 2024. Yeah. Joy's got the happy new year thing on her head. And we're excited. I think, you know, we're excited about 2024 in a lot of different ways. But, you know, one of the things that Joy and even our marketing team really felt we needed to do was drop the McDonald's colors. Oh, goodness. Of the podcast, the red. And no say in that. He wanted the McDonald's. Well, Ronald it McDonald's even, red and yellow look. And I'm like, what? Was it wasn't even on? like I wanted the look. It's just my book came out. It went along with the book. The book was called Unleashed. <laughs> I was trying to tie it all together. <laughs> it was too much. It was bad. So we've dropped it. We've, we've dropped changed. it. We've made some changes. We've made some changes. And the it's podcast good. isn't even called the Justin Ford Unleash podcast mm-hmm. anymore. It's just called the Justin Ford podcast and drum roll. What's the end? Well, we're rolling out, in a sense, a second podcast within the same podcast. Oh, right. And making it more formal and official, real run uncut. So yes. you're going to see moving forward that there's like kind of like two podcasts. You get two for one. Two, you get a two for a twofer. a twofer, yeah. Two for one. And we're going to be very intentional about what that looks like. Because what Joy and I really want to do is we want to encourage couples. We want to encourage listeners. We want to bring guests on. We want to make it super intentional how we can make an impact. And so even if you're listening right now, we want to hear what would you like to see? What would you like to hear? Are there any guests that you would recommend You know, do you want to be a guest? Do you have a story to tell? We really want to make this segment, you know, the real run on cut cut segment really, you know, focused on growing, helping Mm -hmm. people grow, go to the next level and have some great guests on doing it. Yes. So you're going to see a new theme. You're going to see a new brand. There's going to be a brand for the Justin Ford podcast. There's going to be a brand for real run on cut. Joy has been talking about getting some merch Yes. Together for so long where we create our so own long. merch for Real Run Uncut. Cheers to that. Cheers to the, let me, just, let me drink water here in the studio. It's like a seltzer water. It's like a watermelon. Mm. It's very good. I thought the one you were, I, one, I thought Sparkling the one you were pouring had alcohol in it. I, I don't think so. It's no, I'm just really. saying the seltzer, yeah. like you see that, but. No, no, it's sparkling no, water. No, you wouldn't be drinking. No, it's like. Not on the show. <laughs> I would have a glass of Even wine. Even though it's the day after New but, Year's. There's no, it's, it's no, over. New Year. I it's, know. No. So anyways, so we're excited about the things to come with the podcast and really the the segment of Real Ron Cut, making it an official brand of, of what we want to do with it. Mm-hmm. We've talked about how we do want to do some type of like marriage retreat for Real Run Uncut and bringing couples together. So we're excited about that. Mm-hmm. So we wrote some questions down and we do not know each other's answers. So this yes. is like, uh, are you looking at my phone? Don't look at my phone. No, I don't cheat. These are, these are my answers. I don't cheat in life. But okay. <laughs> And so, so, we're, so our, our marketing guy said, gave us some ideas, yeah, actually. No, it we, worked out really yeah, well. Yeah, we came so up with some ideas because we're like, how do we make 100 special or fun? Yeah. And so we, we wrote down a couple of questions. And so we're going to have Joy go first. The first question is, who were your top three favorite or most memorable guests in the 100 episodes? Go. Who's your first top one? Um, one of the top three. And Why? Let's do that. And oh, why? No, no, no. You can't have to. You can't add on. Well, you got to say why. Okay. Okay. First one is Holly and Ralph from Nashville, Tennessee. That was a great one. We had them on twice, right? Nope. Not once. once. Okay. That was an awesome one. Well, for one, they're from Nashville, so they were in town yep. visiting her parents. So Holly's was, from Michigan. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it worked out really well that they were here to be able to record with us, and yeah. we had such a great recording like Ralph is hilarious and I like anybody that's so funny to be on our podcast because I just don't like being serious all the time um 
so I loved having them. I loved hearing their story. Their I love that he had, he loves chocolate and, and drank all his Cokes like late at night. Worked like I love Coca-Cola. chocolate too. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, and just their story and what they do, what, what they're current, where they came from, where they're currently doing and just how they're winning in life and like well, even it. Holly sharing how she has lupus. Yep. 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 And now they're, you, you got to go hear the episode. These, yeah, go back these, yeah definitely go back and Holly hear the and episode. Ralph Holly and Pearson. Ralph Pearson. Yeah, that was good. And now I go to them. Now I talk, I meet with Holly um, periodically about like client database and stuff, marketing. Database yep. Stuff. Yep. yep. All right. Who else? I'm doing all of them. Yeah, go. You give your three and I'll give my three. And then my other top three. No, you have two left. Yeah, my other top two. Yeah. Out of the three. Yep, go ahead. Ashley. Yeah, that was a good I'm one. I'm not going to say your last name because I'm going to kill it. Ashley T. Yeah. Yeah. I forget how to say her last name. Actually, I don't want to mess yep. it up. Who we recently just had. That yep. was a great episode. I yep. enjoyed that one. It was fun. I love that we shouted out that she was single. <laughs> She's been on quite a few dates since then. <laughs> I think it was Trefney. Ashley Trefney. Well, I'm not going to say it wrong. but I, I think if I got you, Ashley. Ashley. Let us know if it's right or not. I got but you, Ashley. That Ashley was a Trefney. great episode because it related to me, actually, because really? we were just talking about how many times we failed our test. Mm. <laughs> so I enjoyed that one. And my last one, sorry, this thing keeps falling. It's okay, so you're good. I, you know. Um, Amber and Jason. Yeah, we have had them on two times. They've been on obviously. Twice. Yep. So I, I've enjoyed everybody on our podcast, but but having to slim it down to three that was really hard for me to do. But I just enjoy yeah. having couples. Mm-hmm. Honestly, yeah, absolutely, it's fun. So that's good. So my top three favorite or most memorable podcasts. The first one I was I, that I wrote down was Jason and Amber as well. And the reason I wrote Jason and Amber down is because not only were they fun to have on, but Jason for the first time told his story yeah. of some marriage struggles and, and what Jason and Amber are going through almost uh, on the verge of divorce. Right. And how God really showed up and healed their marriage. And, you know, now they're mm. business partners of ours over here at EXP and they're doing phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And so, again, like you said, not one, but not once, but twice have they been on. And so that was that was awesome. Definitely go listen to those episodes, guys. Uh, also, having Kwame on. To hear Kwame, you know, because if you guys don't know, Kwame Kilpatrick was the former mayor of Detroit and went to prison, you know, sentenced to 28 years just on a bunch of, you know, um, charges. And you can listen to that. Episode. Yeah, listen to the episode. But to, you know, just hear his story of how he got saved in prison. Mm-hmm. Um, President Trump uh, got him out, commuted his sentence, and now he... Um, loves the Lord, mm-hmm. is serving the Lord, is coming back to Michigan. and We went and had dinner together with them. Yep, him and his, and his wife, wife and, and kids. kids. They're so cute. Oh, and now there. building a relationship with him mm-hmm. and how God is using him in the in the kingdom. That was an amazing episode. And then I also put down you. You did? I put you down. Oh, of course you did. You're actually my favorite guest. And I don't say that just because, like, I'm trying to say that, but I remember when you came on, I don't know if it was your first episode Maybe it was, it was like, it was like right after we started where you shared the story about your dad. Oh yeah. 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 You know, and I think that was, that was big for you because I know you've never really shared it publicly like right. that yep. and it, and it impacted and helped a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And so to me, I would say that was uh, oh, important. Yeah. And so if, if, you know, if you haven't listened to that episode or any of these episodes, we highly recommend yes. you know going back and, and listening to them. Yes. Uh, three things that you've learned, or maybe a few things you've learned. I don't yes. know if I wrote three things down. Maybe okay. I did write three. That's okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Three things I've learned mm-hmm. for me while doing this podcast. That's what I'm assuming it's about. Yep. Um, I can't always be ready. I just have to just do it sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I'm the type to just really plan ahead and have things written out and kind of like yeah, say it a couple times. But yep. With podcasting, you're just kind of on the spot, like especially you are. with Justin. <laughs> you just ask you something, you're like, "Wait." We've never we've never had to redo an episode either, besides that first one that was an hour long, and I was sweating everywhere. <laughs> it was you. Yeah, I've learned to really get uncomfortable because it's like it was really uncomfortable for me to do this. Yeah, actually, cause I'm and like you've always done behind amazing the doing scene. it. So just learning to be uncomfortable mm-hmm. and just the unknown is like, mm, okay, well, let's just try it. Yeah, let's just do it. Yeah. Um. And actually, the other thing I wrote down was how much I enjoy doing this with you. Oh, yeah. How sweet. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. That was it's, good. I do enjoy it. Yeah. You know. Me too. I really do. I enjoy making you wear funny stuff like this. Yeah. That you would never normally do. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Three things I've learned. Number one is you look hot in headphones. You really what? do. 
I, I wrote really? that down. Really? Yep. You did? Yeah, you look great in headphones. So I never weird. realized it, but well, it's 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 not that. <laughs> See, you know, we've you been married. So <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something serious. That is serious. Well, what what you know, after being married eighteen years, you know, not that, not that you don't dress up. I mean, because you do. But I re- like when you dress up. <laughs> I just want to like get married all over again. Honestly. So that's something you learned? Well, when you come, I mean. That I, you want me to walk around wearing these? Well, I mean, I <laughs> I just think when you come to the studio, oh, okay, you it. know, you I get to look in your eyes for an hour. You know, we get to see each other. You know, at home, you know, you're like, you don't get that. No, yeah. I'm I'm mom at home, like I know. wearing sweatpants. Sweatpants, yoga, yoga pants. pants. Yeah. But I mean, but honestly. He though, likes like, when I, okay. When, in other words, you've learned that you enjoy having me in here because I get to dress yes, up. Yes, like, I do. Fun. And wearing headphones. <laughs> Yep. The number two thing I've learned was what we talked about in the beginning is, you know, you don't have to like tell a a whole life story in one episode. It's just impossible. And for me, it was being able to come in and, you know, do these episodes really with no strings attached. I know sometimes, you know, people want, they want to see their numbers go up. And again, you know, numbers mean more listeners, but I had to let go because I'm a very results driven person Mm -hmm. of, you know, it's not about, you know, the numbers, it's about the impact. And when I get to hear feedback from people that they, you know, a specific episode or something you said, or I said really made an impact. I learned that it's not about the numbers. It's about, you know, God told us to do this podcast. We did it and he's using it Mm -hmm. and we're going to be consistent, you know, until he tells us something different. And then, uh, the number three thing that I learned is, for some reason, there's always just one bag of those cheese puffer chips when I come in, and I think they're always there just for me. So I think they, they put I, their I th- name, your name on the back. I of think it. the team here at Wayne Media and Speakeasy Podcast, they know <laughs> I'm puffers. coming, and they, they have put those the at Costco. I bought them. I know, before. but there's always the one bag. Yeah, oh, and it's I for me. Know. It is yours. Yep. All right, the three. Wait, that was your last. That one. was my last one. That's one thing I learned. I feel special. <laughs> well, you are special. Thank you. Okay. All right, so. And then the last question that we wrote down, and again, we don't know each other's lists here. I just can't. <laughs> of course, I love that. I just love yeah. the puffers. They're the best. Every time I walk in, there's just one bag. Every man loves crunchy chips, I like crunchy, crunchy chips. things. <laughs> <laughs> I know women, some women do. I'm, I'm all about like sweets and chocolate, but like, I feel like, like my son, my kid, my boys love chips, Cr- chips the, and chips. Yes, I'm crunchy's like, the best. Wow. Thank you, Grant. All right, top three biggest asks for the next 100 podcast. So who are you going to ask? Top big asks, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you mm-hmm. know, people that, seems you know, it's going to, gonna, yeah, the podcast. yeah. Like there seems no way. Yep. It seems are, like no way. Yeah, so who are your top three? One of them was, and I've already asked, but I'm going to keep asking until I get a yes, mm-hmm. is Gary Brecca, because mm-hmm. we heard him on stage at EXP conference, mm-hmm. and I was literally getting ready to leave the conference part to go probably to the pool. I don't know where. Mm -hmm. And when he got on stage and when he started speaking and had us doing certain things, I felt alive. I don't even know how. It was awesome. It was all about health. Yep. Gary Breck is a human biologist and and he does anti-aging and longevity expert. And he's a believer too. Yes. And he works with um, Grant Grant Cardone. Cardone, Like they've joined forces forces, mm -hmm, for health. Mm -hmm. And I love watching his, um, he's got a podcast he just released. And the only reason why I know that, because I emailed him and his assistant got back to me. I asked for him to be on our podcast. And she's Mm -hmm. like, we're in the middle of starting a podcast. You know, currently he's unavailable, but um, that's a big ask because I really would love for him to Mm -hmm. like get on social, get on with us through zoom or however that can be done. But, um, that would be amazing. That's a huge mm-hmm. ask, though. Do you want to hear my other two, or are you going to go? No, keep going. Okay. And then my other one would be Pastor Steve Furtick from Elevation Church. Wow, that is You a can't big change ask. your answers. I'm not changing my no. answers. That's um, a big ask. Because we're supposed to be prepared for this. Yeah, and we're supposed to see <laughs> if, if our answers match. So, yeah, Pastor Steve Furtick from Elevation Church. Mm-hmm. They're located out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Amazing church that we really tuned in on, um, especially during, like, COVID and stuff. Yeah. But he speaks and preaches like with a fire of God that I can't even explain. Yeah. I don't even know. Like every time he speaks, something yep. is unlocked. He brings it. So I'd love to have him and his wife yeah. on. And if she can't make it or if he can't yeah. make it, one of them come on. Yep. It'd be yep. great. And my last one would be um, Heidi Powell. Do you know who that is? 
Nope. So Dave Hollis's ex-wife, Rachel Hollis. Rachel Hollis, you may or may not know, but a lot of know other ladies may are. know. Yep. She wrote a book called Girl, Wash Your Face, which I haven't read yet, which is on my list to read. Um, but Rachel Hollis wrote a lot of books. Dave Hollis is actually, he's involved with Disney too. Okay. Um, he suddenly passed away and his girlfriend, Heidi Powell, who I want to have on um, on our podcast, she started just podcasting recently, po- having her own podcast recently. Yeah. And so she's she's ha- living a whole new life since her boyfriend has passed away. Mm-hmm. It was like a sudden thing. And yeah. so I would love to have her on here. Well, we've all probably, if you want to look her up, you can read her story. But she is now living a new norm, normal life, yeah. new norm yeah. without her boyfriend. And, you know, they've got kids and all that like separately. But I'd love to hear how she's, doing how she's managed how she's moved on yeah. or how she's currently slowly moving on and what she's done to change in mm-hmm. her life um in person i'd love to hear that like yeah. i know i can hear it like on her podcast and things like that but i just loved i would love to connect with her cool so i would love to have her on hey heidi powell yeah no that's cool how about you what are your top so i wrote three down because you know when i started the podcast it was really going to be faith finance family fitness and real estate yeah and we're still obviously going to do that Mm -hmm. but i really want to focus a lot on on real estate you know Mm -hmm. moving you know moving into 2024 i think that a lot of our listeners are real real estate agents and are in real estate and so when i wrote down you thought about that in mind. my top three yeah i you know i wrote down these three names. But before I give you these three names, we're going to let you know of a great system that you can use in 2024 to help your real estate business. Are you a real estate agent looking to sell more homes this year and make more money, but not sure how? The answer is simple. You just need to talk to more people. Being a real estate coach and teaching thousands of real estate agents all over North America and personally selling on average 100 homes per year, the thing top producing real estate agents have in common is that they use systems and technology to get in front of more people and have more conversations about real estate. And the system I use every day to ensure my success in real estate is Red X. Red X is my secret weapon for success in this competitive world of real estate that allows me to take seven to 10 listings on average every month. Red X provides me with the highest quality homeowner lead data, phone numbers, and industry leading communication tools to connect with homeowners actively looking to sell, giving you the edge to be the first agent in the door. Red X's triple line power dialer will boost your conversations connecting you seamlessly with more motivated homeowners ready to sell, allowing you to leave pre-recorded voicemails effortlessly for those that don't answer. But that's not all. Say goodbye to time-consuming neighborhood farming. Red X provides you with phone numbers and addresses for homeowners in your area in seconds, making prospecting a breeze. How about investors and landlords, pre-foreclosures for sale by owners and expireds? Red X is your all-in-one prospecting solution. Don't miss out on the opportunities waiting for you. Take the first step towards increased production, more listings, and long-term success. Visit sellmorewithredx.com right now to start your prospecting journey with the most accurate contact information on the market. And because you're a listener of my podcast, Red X will waive your $150 setup fee. Go to sellmorewithredx.com and start selling more homes today. All right, welcome back. So my top three biggest asks for the next 100 episodes is number one, Grant Cardone. Yeah, that's a big ask. I'm surprised you didn't say Elena Cardone. I I know you said said that that in the past because you you read her book about building an empire. That was a great episode that we had. Yes. And I think I asked her in person when we met her at the EXP. I don't think you did. I don't remember. I don't think you did. Mm, I think you just said hi. I don't remember. That was about it. Okay. So number one, Grant Cardone. Uh, Grant Cardone, for those of you guys that don't know, has built a multi-billion dollar real estate business with his wife, Elena Cardone. Mm -hmm. And Grant's phenomenal. And he he and his wife, actually, his wife is a part of EXP. So I'm definitely going to ask. Number two, Matt Ishbia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Matt Ishbia is the CEO and the founder of United Wholesale Mortgage, which is actually located right here in Michigan. Yeah. Multi-billion dollar uh, mortgage company has 8,000 employees that work for him. We've been to his headquarters. Yeah, we do a lot of And they there. all work every day in the and office. They're there, yeah. Which they're is there. insane. Matt and now is, the owner of 
Phoenix Suns. He also is the owner of the Phoenix Suns and the largest mortgage company in the in the world. And then last but not least, uh, Glenn Sanford, who is the founder and CEO of uh, EXP. Oh, yeah. You know, I think it would be awesome to have him on. So these are three billionaires that I plan on having on the show yeah. sometime in the next 100 episodes. That's great. I'm excited about that. I'm excited to have him in or hear you speak with him. Yeah. So... Yeah, so there's there's a lot of exciting things that we have planned for not only the next 100, but really 2024. What's one goal that you want to accomplish in 2024? Well, it's not on the list. Yeah, like what's something that you want to accomplish this year? I actually want to. I want to invite three ladies to join me in my running. In your running club, okay. <laughs> Yeah, because you've been now running over two years, and yeah. she is consistent. Yeah. Snow, rain, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Where are you going, Joy? Going for a run. It's going to clear my mind. I don't even ask anymore. She just throws on those yoga pants, and she's out the door. <laughs> or if it's snowing, I go gym. to the gym because yeah. I don't have, like, running But super shoes. consistent. I'm not trying to slip and fall and hurt yeah. myself. But so proud of you. I, thank you. Two years. That and yoga. Those are my two things. That you want to accomplish in 2024? No. What do you want to, so you want to accomplish that your big goal is to bring three ladies into running with you? I want to bring three ladies in my life to help change their life. That's a good one. Running, like physically. Yeah. To be able to change their life physically. That's huge. So that's one of my goals. That's good. So if you want to be one of those ladies, let me know. Reach out. Yep. You can reach out to Joy. Uh, for me, I would say in 2024, one of my big goals is to. Wow, this was off the script. We didn't even have this planned. <laughs> I have a lot of big yourself. goals in 2024. I would say one of my big goals is this year to have our first conference. You know, we uh, you know, we we're going to be doing some really special stuff this year through our EXP family, but also really just the real estate industry in general. It's been a big a uh, dream or a goal or an idea of mine. And now we've got an amazing leadership team of people within our EXP organization. And in 2024, we're going to have our first EXP, not EXP, uh, Legacy Con, because uh, the, the new direction we're going and the networking um, that we're going to be doing through our EXP group, which you'll hear more about in 2024, is called the Legacy Network, mm -hmm. which is really focused on creating legacy building strong marriages, families, finances, health, fitness, all, just same thing we already talked about. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a conference this year to make an impact on at least 500 real estate agents. Wow. Yeah. That gave me one little knot right here. Because <laughs> Joy knows that she's going to be a part of the planning committee. <laughs> so that's it. That's, that's uh, nice episode exciting. 100. Thank you guys so much. Yes. Do you have anything to say to those that are listening, Joy? I don't, but I want us to pray. I want you to pray over yeah. everybody 2024. Yep. Right? Over in Well, why don't you time. pray and I'll close it. Sure. Okay, go ahead. God, we thank you for these last 100 episodes. Yep. God, we thank you for the next 100 episodes. We thank you for the big asks that they would be um, coming into the studio. Lord, I thank you for um, 2024, the new year, for everybody that's listening and have watched. God, that you'd bless them, be with them, give them good health, um, be with their families, um, be with their children. I pray that you would be the leader in their lives, Lord, that we would continue to put you in the forefront of our lives, yes, in our marriage, in our business, in everything that we do. And I just pray that you'd bless 2024, bless people, bless everybody that is maybe struggling, that you'd help them to be strengthened, um, bless anybody's business who's been struggling, that you would just um, give them more than they can even imagine. And I just pray that you would just, um, be glorified in all that we say, think and do in yes, 2024 Lord. in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Happy 2024. Yep. And before we, we end the show, I do want to remind you that this episode is brought to you by our friends over at next door lending. Next door lending is not just our sponsor on the show. They're our lender, but more importantly, they're our friends. Uh, we, we really love the team over at next door lending. They have an incredible, incredible uh, team of experts available to help you with your mortgage needs. And so if you are a buyer thinking about buying here in 2024, 
Call our friends over at Nextdoor Lending. If you are a homeowner and you're looking to take advantage of the lower rates that are coming, call my friends over at Nextdoor Lending. And if you're a real estate agent and you're looking for a great real estate uh, mortgage relationship, call our friends over at Nextdoor Lending today. They have over 600 five-star reviews, a perfect Better Business Bureau rating. Call them today at 888-885-3667 or visit their website at nextdoorlending.com. We want to thank... Every single person that's uh, tuned in, we want to thank all of our guests that we've yes. had. And we definitely want to give a shout out to Grant, Johnny, Amanda, Rob, and the entire Wayne Media and Speakeasy yes. team. Thank you. We wouldn't thank have been you. able to do it without you. And so as we're going to end the show here, happy new year 2024 and happy 100 episodes. Woo! Woo! <laughs> scared it was going to be like really crazy. For those of you guys that know, I always leave you with two things. I guess we're going to do this a second time. Ready? One, two, three. That's fun. Well, you're... Woo! (laughs) Thanks for tuning in, guys. We appreciate you listening in. There's always going to be two things that we leave you with. Number one, it's not how you start. What matters is how you finish. And number two, with God, all things are possible. My wife looks hot in headphones. God bless you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.